Alrighty guys, welcome back. This is the second episode of this series, this prep series, and I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty tired today because I did my SBD yesterday for the final week of this block. The last video was detailing a little bit about how the prep was going to be laid out. I've since been getting through my training, building good momentum throughout this block, and then Yesterday's session, so Sunday today, yesterday's session on Saturday is sort of like the beginning of the hardest week of the whole prep. We are finishing off a really, really good block across both the primaries and the secondaries. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to be really buggered, I'm going to be sore, I'm going to be overreached, carrying a bit of fatigue from that hard training, and I'm going to need a little bit of a dip in demands to kind of recover from that and adapt from that. And the idea is that as we then pull into competition, you know, I'm at peak performance. That's kind of the mindset. So what I'm going to do is just talk through the way this SPD session went, my, my hopes for the session, the realities of the session, because, you know, training is something that we can kind of set goals for and have ideas around how it's going to go. And then the training goes how it goes. What I mean by that is coming into this training session, I had, you know, hopes for the day to maybe go a little bit better uh, and to be uh, to feel a little bit stronger and a little bit smoother but in saying all of that it was still a really outstanding session so the goals for the day were to hit a little bit more of a sort of pocket squat uh, relative to uh, deadlift which was the goal was to push that a little bit harder because we've had some really good momentum lately on the deadlift we have found our feet with the conventional with the hook grip which I think I touched on last video and we wanted to really see what was there within reason, that went well. Um, we went for something slightly higher on the bench press as well. So the load ranges for this session were somewhere between 285 and 290 kilos on the squat and on the deadlift, and somewhere between 182 and 187 on the bench press. Now, just for a moment, a little bit of context. Last weekend, we had our first nationals. APA, Australian Powerlifting Alliance, had our first nationals. I've had a bit to do with that, it was a big weekend, there was coaching, there was commentating, there was spotting and loading, there was helping with some of the pack up, you know, it's a fairly big weekend. And I coped with that pretty well, honestly. Uh, the Monday session coming back, which was sort of a big secondary day, was, I was expecting to feel like crap, and I actually motored through that pretty nicely, but I found that the back end of the week, coming into the Saturday session, which I just did, I started to get really tired. I uh, was up pretty early on the morning of my SPD session. So that's a big part of why I feel like I could have maybe performed a little bit better. And I just didn't feel like laser dialed in and like really, 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 really uh, energetic and everything, which is how I like to feel on those SPD sessions and how I usually feel on those SPD sessions. But that's cool because it's also nice to be able to hit good training days when you don't feel perfect, and I could go on about that a lot, but being adaptable and not being sort of too stressed about when you aren't feeling just perfect and dialed, and still being able to do really good lifting, there's definitely a lot of validity in that. So, starting with the squat, I squatted 290. This was a really good squat. I feel like I was hitting good depth. I've been working on my depth a lot in this block, and I didn't really go for a depth angle on this video, um, but I was pleased with my body language and how I was pushing into the hole. Honestly, warming up for this squat, I was feeling strong, but I was just feeling really tired. And I found that it was really hard to get my emotional sort of arousal to the place where I like to get it to. So I just had to work with that. I just was a little bit more chilled and just like down-regulated. Um, I did manage to turn things up a little bit for this 290 and was quite pleased with the outcome. I would say that from a strength perspective, this moves pretty similar to a 290 that I hit a little while ago before I did a testing day where I squatted 305. So it looks like we're in those realms of strength, even just on a bit of a tired day, which is pretty nice. And uh, we've been thumping the secondary squatting work as well. So there's always going to be an element of fatigue that masks that fitness and that top end strength, which means when we do kind of pull back and take it back a little bit, which we do for competition, uh, we'll definitely show up a little bit better again. So I was quite pleased with this. I think I probably, probably could have squatted three on this day. Uh, so not a bad outcome at all. It was awesome to have so many people over at Breakthrough for the session. And yeah, squats I'm quite pleased with. 
We made adjustments to the squatting programming a few months back because some things weren't feeling quite right and an old injury uh, or previous injury was causing me a little bit of aggravation. But over the last like three blocks, uh, things have been good. I'm just gonna wait for that plane to go. Okay, plane's mostly gone. So squats, really nicely done. Very happy with that, 290. Hit it really nicely. Felt like it was a good selection for the day. <clears throat> Moving on from that, bench press was a funny one. I wonder whether I maybe take, I took jumps that were a bit too big in my warm ups. I have tried to increase my jumps in my warm ups for bench press a little bit just to see how it feels. And it just, on average, doesn't feel great from a skill perspective. It feels heavy in the hands. It feels like I'm a little bit out of groove with regard to my technique. Um, whereas on the squat, I tolerate those big jumps and warm-ups really, really well. So that's just a note for me. I think that was probably a part to play in why I didn't feel my best on bench press on this day. Something else was that on my last warm-up, which was 177.5, I literally like squatto pressed it. Like I paused it above my chest, um, which was just the weirdest thing. And that's just an indication that I just was, was kind of out of groove with my technique a little bit. So I took like a little L and just took 182.5 which was the bottom end of the range. I also pressed that at the end of last block, so it wasn't like a major win for me there at all, but I think the win was picking a good uh, load, and that's really important. I think I've grown in a lot of ways from a lifting maturity standpoint, where coming in, assessing the objective elements of the day, and being able to pick good loads is really, really important. And it's a skill that really helps on competition day as well. So the execution of that 182.5 uh, was good. I actually was quite pleased with the execution relative to how all the other bench felt leading up to that. The working sets, which were I think like 144 kilos, were excellent. These were really, really good. I actually had one of my guys, Danny, there who was like on my case a bit around pause quality, which was really good um, because you always need to have training partners to keep it honest with you. He was letting me know I was jumping the calls a little bit on my uh, singles, just kind of anticipating the call a little bit too much. And so we worked really hard on the working sets that really nailing down the pause quality nicely. And I think I did a really good job on these. The thing with bench press right now is all my volume is up. I'm in PR territory on most of my volume. I'm on PR territory on my secondary day. I'm on PR territory on my assistance work. So everything's moving in the right direction. And this day was just like, just a little bit of an air day on the top end bench. Something else I find which is like somewhat irregular is that I find my bench really responds to a taper. And I saw this in the testing day that Marcellus and I did, where I was benching like around 170s, 180s, feeling okay. And then we taped it back and I tested and I benched 190. All right, we're good. Between planes and dogs barking, hopefully the background noise is okay. Uh, so yeah, bench press actually responds quite well to a taper. So I'm pretty interested to see how that goes, considering I feel super strong on bench right now. Uh, but we'll just see how we go when we actually taper back when it comes to comp day. The other thing too, is I'm benching on the Alico V2 at the moment to practice because I'm gonna be competing on it and I'm getting better at it and I find there's less and less of a gap, but if I had to pick, I'd bench better, generally speaking, on something that has a little bit more squish to it, uh, just better for my position. But it was still a good benching day, so happy with that. Tech's feeling fired up, like tech, tech's feeling like it's in a really good spot. All right, next is deadlifts. This was one of the coolest deadlift days I've had in a long time. Um, I've been working with Marcellus like eight, nine months now, and during that whole time, I haven't successfully pulled a 290. I've attempted a sumo 290 and failed it. I've pulled, you know, in the 270s and such, in 280s, out on conventional and gotten it. I've pulled around 280 in sumo and gotten it, but I hadn't pulled 290 for maybe like 10, 11 months since just after my last comp. So that was excellent, just so thrilled about that. Um, I do feel like my last warm-up was executed a little better, so there's something still to work on there, and Marcellus and I have spoken about particularly focusing on coming off of the floor and not rushing that process, really just building drive and pressure through the legs and pushing, and that's something I'm getting heaps better at, but I still have a long way to go with regard to that. But to hit 290, which is just under my best competition uh, deadlift is really, really nice and it really feels like my deadlift is back on the correct trajectory for us to be going over 300 in competition soon, which is something that I really need to do as a 105 lifter in Australia. I need to be pulling well over three, plus a big squat, plus a big bench press. I can't be having this gap with the deadlift severely under everybody else. So always working hard on all three lifts, 
but it's really nice to see a lift that's been a little bit harder for me to get moving, moving really, really well. Working sets here were great. I always do one set with hook grip and the rest with straps. That went fantastic. And there's not too much more to comment there on the deadlift. Everything's feeling sound. I'm happy with it. Hook grip's feeling really, 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 really good. And we're on the up with the deadlift. So I'm really happy about that. Moving on from that, we had some belt squats, some chest supported rows, and some face pulls, which all went really well. We go hard on the belt squats because a lot of my volume in my squats actually comes from squat machines rather than barbell. Um, so yeah, as you would have noticed before, I didn't talk about any working sets on the low bar squats. So pretty similar video to the last one in regards to it being an SPD day, but hopefully you can see the contrast between an early block SPD day and a final week of the block SPD day. In the next block, when we're going into the comp block, we'll kind of look at more individual sessions a little bit as well. Last note I'll make before I sign off is that I've been talking with a couple brands about doing some giveaways, so that's in the pipeline. Um, and I'll have more to report on that soon, but stay tuned. We're keeping locked in on this prep. It's, uh, you know, a very promising day to go sort of what, 762 and a half on the same day, doing working sets across all the lifts except the squat on that day. Uh, and kind of just feeling a little bit tired and having kilos in the tank too. So very promising. I haven't really set goals yet for comp. I'm someone who likes to kind of finish the training first and then go for it, but I know it would be cool to get as high as possible in the 700s. I think that 800 would be really, really, really cool, but it's kind of like a number that has like an allure to it. It's like a milestone lift, um, a milestone number. And so I'm not too obsessed on exactly where I land. I really just want to make sure it's a good day. Um, and I know there's going to be PRs, so I'm not really too stressed. So yeah, that's it. Pretty cruisy one today. Hopefully, um, that all made sense and you got all enjoying the insights. And like I said, coming up next is going to be a bit of a look at the secondary work. Excited to bring that. Until then, take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you soon.